Hi there, Simon from SimonWoice.com. Today's wine, Tres Picos, Borsa, uh, Borsao, Borsao is the name of the wine in Bodegas, Borsao, Garnacha. And where are we here? Campo de Borja, uh, one of the uh, those uh, outposts of uh, just about northern Spain where uh, Garnacha, or the Grenache grape, uh, grows in, uh, oh sorry, I'm burping here, uh, grows grows really well. So uh, you, you, you've got other places nearby like uh, uh, Calatayud that, uh, that also is very successful with, with the grape. Uh, Borsa makes uh, some of the best value uh, cheap garnachas you can find. Tres Picos is uh, there, one of their slightly more ambitious wines. Uh, blah, 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 uh, rugged terrain, low yields, uh, and I think it's been in a barrel for a, a, a bit, but uh, let's see uh, how it's turned out. And the barrel character for me is coming across here. Um, I don't know if you ever had, used to have Dunlop green flash pumps. There was a real peculiar smell about the bottom of them. Did you used to smell the bottle of your pumps? Well, you haven't lived then. And they suddenly, I think it, not so much then, but there were other plim soles, if you want to call them that, that had this diamond shaped thing on, on the bottom. And I remember ripping them off as a child and smelling them. And they had that smell. Yeah, we didn't used to do much. We used to make our own fun, smelling the bottom of shoes. But um, so, the, the, and, and I think that's the oak aging that's giving what I call this rubbery oak character. But behind it feels like there's this really wealth of um, dark, brooding, spicy, bramble, uh, dusty, warm, heady fruit. Is that enough adjectives for you? Um, it smells uh, It smells like it's going to be rich and concentrated. Also smells like it's going to be uh, a bit on the young side. Big, intense, um, bit of a growler of a wine. Uh, feels like one of those that where I want to pour it. It's Friday now. I want to pour it out now and drink it tomorrow. So I think by then... Uh, some of those louder, more boisterous characters, because it's this really bold, rich, spicy fruit that sort of goes, Rrr! and this oak behind going, go on, go on, go on, you know, you know when you want to do it. Um, it's that that's it's sh not shouting, but it is raising its voice, um, and it feels like that it, the, 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 the wine behind is rich, balanced, and confident. And I just want to, uh, I just want to see it calm down a little bit because uh, at the moment it tastes good, but I think that there's an even better wine to emerge uh, if you give it time and give it a little bit, a bit of air, either in the glass or slosh it in a decanter, or as I say, I mean sometimes I do this, watch a wine, have it one day. Uh, half a bottle one day, half the bottle the next day. Often, but wines like this, they taste much better on day two. Sometimes even better on day three, but um, the, the bottle's usually empty by then. But um, but I think that this is uh, this this is good, and uh, I will tell you how it what happens to it with further time open. See you soon.